All right, guys, just a quick uh, tutorial on how to get a uh, properly working split screen Black Ops 3 dual monitor setup working. Um, usually you will end up with some ugly black bars on the top and the bottom, but uh, there's a way to get rid of them. Um, you need a program. Uh, windowed borderless gaming and you can just google it and download it for free then unpack it and start it just you know double click on it i already started it um the second thing those two monitors they have to be the same uh, aspect ratio um, those are both 16 to 9 displays this one is 4K, this one is 1080p, but I changed that one also to be um, uh, 1080p. And I flipped them. Normally, I would my mouse would go over here and then it would be on this screen, but I have to go to the other side. Now it's here, so it's, yeah, it's the other way around. I did that. I can start the game. Um, I did that because uh, you have to um, find out which monitor or which side will be the second um, split screen or the one the one you will add when uh, playing with the controller as a second player. So you have to have to um, play around with that. Um, but other than that, the game just starts normally and now we have to um, go into the settings and change to window mode and I will show you right now. And then we can um, take control over the window with the program we just uh, downloaded. Uh, let me show you. Go to the options and here you change it to window mode and just hit enter. Yes. <clears throat> All right, now it's in window mode and um, we can start it with uh, add window. Now just click on add window and F3. So I just click that and now I click into the window, see the mouse changed. And now I will hit uh, F3 on the keyboard. And uh, I should be able to control it now. No, just uh, we'll do it again. All right, now I can hit the uh, Windows uh, button. Yeah. and I can go into the settings and uh, I found out for me because I have a 2, a 1, uh, 1920 um, monitors side by side I just double that and I will get this uh, resolution and uh, the vertical resolution 180p um, plus the black bars, right? So you're gonna add that to that and play around a little. Uh, I, I just did that and came out with the following. Um, you can just copy that. And now here you, um, you, you, you change the, the starting point, so, so to speak, of the window. And now, well, you know, <laughs> Everything looks a little bit crooked, but that's all right. Uh, it has to be that way. And now we can see the new resolution. And we can just, I don't know, for me, uh, this works. Uh, or we can just leave it there. Because we, can, we, we can't really uh, hit enter now, but that's okay. Whatever, we can change it later. So we just hit okay. That's all right. And now we just have to start a, a, a new game. Um, 
and I would just make something uh, where we could just see how that works and you know the, the menu is on two already um, right whatever I have to activate gamepad yeah and that's right there let me activate it it's two players and I just go ahead and start it yeah, and then the magic happens because now everything looks fucked up. Um, but you will see in a few seconds that everything will work uh, perfectly. And that's how it should be. You can already see that's the split screen, loading screen. And uh, you have it. It's all how it should be. No black bars, everything not stretched or anything it's just uh, yeah, it's, it is how it should be and uh, everything's working and now you have uh, working menus again and you can change uh, all right it's, it's already like I want it and um, that's how you play, can play split screen on the PC with uh, working resolution no glitches and no black bars all right take care and have fun with it